Hello everybody and welcome back to Bandle Tail, where it looks like everything that we need to do is now in Gadgeton. So I am going to uproot the backpack and we are going to head over there and we are going to sort some stuff out. Bye Bandle Academic, so I'm off to the very mechanised uh, area of Gadgeton. We're off to play with uh, scrapyards and clay pits and uh, zip cans, I think. So let's go and have a quick look around, I think, to do all of this. So let me see, repair cobble. That needs to be done up there. Okay. And then this one, extremely safe blast zone, is over here. So I figure I'm going to need to like fix one of these elevators, and that's probably why I had to unlock all that stuff. But I probably need to make a zip can now, don't I? So let's have a look. This one, repair with a zip can. See, zip can. This one, can it be repaired with a zip can as well? Let's see. I can't do anything with it right now. Well, let's do, as usual, the rule is if you can't do a thing, then don't worry about it. Do what you can and wait till later. So that is what we are going to do with that. So I need to do, make a zip can, basically. So let's go and see what that requires. Do the workshop. Do the back cave. So let's have a look. Uh... I have zip cans now. Yes, I do. Okay, so I need a motion aura. I need goo flask, which I can know I can make, and a tin nugget, which I have no idea how to make. It looks like it's done. Well, it's probably going to be on this forge, isn't it? Let's have a look. So, uh, right, looks like I need to upgrade the foundry workbench. All right then. Just before I start, how many? Hmm. Um, I'm just gonna charge my bands up first. I've got a lot that need to be sorted. Like I said, I'd be very annoyed if those run out. I need to take those ones. I can put some more thread on, but also I can just go and charge those ones up quickly while that aura is still on. Okay, all good. So, zip can requires this to be upgraded, which requires the rock, basically the cement, the quick set rock paste. Which requires some cobwebs. Can I make cobwebs? I can. I love it when a plan comes together. All right then, and then I need to put this on, and then I need to put this on and make four of those. Lovely. Then, do I go do a little sleep? Yeah, I think so, because I've got nothing else to do. Oh, should we stick the vending machine out? That would be a good thing to do while we're waiting. So what have we got to put in there? I've got some cute clay cups and I've got some crystal goods. I'll leave those out for a little while. And do a sleep. Because what I'm trying to do with the... Um, what was I saying? What I'm trying to do with that is I'm trying to make sure that... Okay. I've always got money in the bank because if I come across a merchant that has a particular, although I think I've already had the uh, artifact off of uh, Rumble, it's going to be all different. All the different uh, merchants will have something different. Like I know over in Inspiration Isle, there's a, a Infinity Eye or something like that. I know that the the Tunnel Keeper has it. So I'll, next time I'm over there, I'll grab that. 
but I haven't checked to see if Ingvar has anything, so I might just quickly go... Actually, no, what I'll do is I'll start uh, processing the zip can first. So, for the zip can, so for the fancy work... Oh, I found your workbench, I need goo. Let's see, can I make goo? I can, lovely. Because I went mushroom hunting recently. So foundry workbench level two is here. Perfect. So now I can make steel nuggets and tin nuggets and things, but I need a heat aura two, which means I need to move it where the, okay, so let's uh, move object, move this one here and this one here. And that should give it, if I have a flame blossom seed, no, I don't, let's go make some. Except I do, I think these might be, yay! I did, fantastic. Let's make some um, honey fruit and uh, other thingy seeds. And swirl corn seeds, because we always need those for our fruits, for our, sorry, for our food stands at the moment. Just needs to be a thing we always need, so. Let's pop that on, Victoria 2, and then we can make, now isn't that interesting, so all the things that are a Heat Aura 1 can now be replaced with a Heat Aura 2. Good to know. So I'm going to change change this around a little bit, um, Once, obviously once the Heat Aura is gone, but the only other, the only thing is though that I would be using flame blossom seeds just for heat or one stuff, so I might actually keep my one that just runs off elastic bands until I can get something a little bit more reliable. But yeah, tin nuggets. I need a few of those. I think four. A zip can requires one. Okay, I need some goo flasks as well. I'll make one of those. And we're nearly done on our tin. Our first one anyway. So I think I should now be able to make a zip can. But then I need to make a charged zip can. So we need motion aura over here. So. We move things around again. <laughs> One day I will have the correct aura machines by the correct things, but not yet. At the moment I have aura two, heat aura two, heat aura one, two with general auras and then one with motion aura. And that does seem to be enough, to be honest. Um, right, put you on and zip can. Boom. Craft. Nice. So now I need to make a charge zip can, which means I figure I have to come through here. And... Charge it. Ah, right, of course. I need steel nuggets and quick set rock face. Four steel nuggets. come in pairs so there we are might need to put another fire blossom seed in there though before I can get that going and then we also need quick set rock paste which will also need the aura too I don't know if I can move things around because what I want ideally at the moment one either side. Let's move things around. So let's move that over there. No. Over there. In the middle there, because it doesn't seem to need auras very much. Then let's move that. I'm, I'm going to tuck that away there, just so we've still got it if we need it. So if I don't have fire blossom seeds, then it's not a problem. 
that over there and once that's finished okay that needs to finish its job before it can be properly moved it's a bit of a pain cancel take move move lovely all right then heat aura two let's go and let's make ourselves some quick set rock paste. Oh, I don't know. I bet you I don't have enough. Uh, I need a couple of them, don't I? I don't have enough cobwebs, of course. Oh, that's irritating. Well, I'll make what I can. Uh, I need to make another thing of steel. So I may as well make what I can while it's ready. But yeah, it's annoying not being able to farm the spiders. Do I have my spider traps on me? I have one. I'm guessing there's another spider trap somewhere around in the world. So I'm just gonna see if I can make another one quickly. Oh man, everything's all just crammed in over here, isn't it? Yeah, I can't use it. That over there. Can we make another spider trap? Yes, we can. Let's go and trap some spiders so I can make some more quick set rock paste to upgrade the charge station. It's all about the bandle spiders right now. Uh, so I've got a nice little bug location over here, which is nice and close by. Lovely. I think I only need one. If I can find a second one, then that would be great, but. I only need one. And while we're looking around, let's uh, see if Ingvar has any cool, like, artifacts. I've been working on myself lately, trying to be the best yodel I can be. I really shouldn't let the feeling of being a winner go to my head. <laughs> it's okay to celebrate a win once in a while, Ingvar. You think so? Hmm, maybe you're right. Even so, the thought of me becoming even slightly arrogant makes me shudder. Alright, let's have a look. No, Ingvar only has basic stuff. Good to know. Right then. Let's head over here and uh, pick up. Wow. That was a good, ta good takings, wasn't it? So I'll stick my boats in as well. Um. We're waiting for these spiders now, aren't we? I don't know if I can find another spider location. I'm not expecting as many bug locations to be on this island. Uh, as, say, I, uh, for example... Oh, I see one, I see one. You would expect a lot of them to be in the, uh, the green area, but not so many to be in the mechanical area. So, band of spider trap there. Because this uh, rock paste seems to be the thing that's needed at all times right now, very irritatingly, because that's the one thing I have to kind of go and manually get right now, is the band of spiders, because I don't have adhesive aura. In case you wondered why I wasn't farming them, that is why we do not have adhesive aura yet. So, adhesive aura is all the way over um, was it in I think it was in nature, wasn't it? Somewhere, if I remember rightly. But it was quite far over. Although things, sometimes things I think are quite far over then aren't anymore. I've got an upgrade to the motion conductor there coming up. A wild heat conductor. I am not seeing it actually. Maybe it wasn't on this side. Uh, maybe it was somewhere else. Adhesive aura. I know I've seen it. But I know it was quite far over. Nope. I'll try magic because magic is where the auras are. 
It's not an easy one to spot because I've got to spot it amongst all of these, you see. Rubber knitting, advanced blueprint, enchanted leg. Oh, there we are. Magic aura is over here. So I need to have the magic conductor too and then take the magic aura. So I need to have a, like 37 points before I can raise spiders. So it's it's in in the future soonish, as I finish off this second section. So you can see that most of this we're on like the, we're gonna be moving into the third section pretty soon of the skill tree or or final section I guess. Lessons for one, two, three, four, and we're going into the fifth section. But yeah, basically the last section is uh, is coming up for all of them. Which I'm hoping means that we're close to the end of the game. That would be interesting, wouldn't it? We could find out the end of the story and everything. Alright, so I've got that. I've got my rock paste. Which I don't think comes into use, sadly. So I can't upgrade the charge bench yet, sadly. I don't need one more rock paste, as expected. Let's go and find. Uh, okay, I'm going to sleep. Oh, look at all my points. Wow, when did that happen? It always happens when I'm not looking and I'm doing other things. Especially when I'm doing a lot of processing in my workshop. That seems to be the time that happens. Right then. So, I think the spider should be ready now. I should be able to do all my stuff to make my zip can. Or to charge my zip can at least. So I'll go and get the other one as well. I don't think I'm going to put the traps back down because I'm probably going to move. Uh, as soon as I've done these couple of quests. So I'll just see where I'm going to be for a minute and then I'll put the traps down. And that's the problem. Because I'm moving around all the time so I never know where I'm going to be when I need a spider. <laughs> right. Going down the elevator. Right, let's charge this zip can. 45 more. This is amazing. I love, I love getting money. It's so nice. Okay. Let's go and make a quick set rock paste. Very irritating that I had to use the aura twice for that. Let's go and make the spiders into <laughs> an actual spider web. Fantastic. So I've got three spare spider webs as well, so that's quite nice. So one more quick set rock paste and we are go. take the moment while it's doing that to actually to move the motion aura back to the spindle so as I can make more thread and I want to check how many charged bands I have because I'm aware that I'm using them like crazy right now Yeah, we've upgraded you to a charge workbench too. Which means I can't make a charge zip can if I have a zip can. No, I need an electricity aura. Oh, of course I do. <laughs> of course I can't just can't just do it straight away. And then I'm gonna also need a gravity aura. What are these auras? Oh my goodness. Okay. So. How do we make an electricity aura then? <laughs> Woohoo! With an electro rubber conductor. Which luckily does just use zip cans. Uh, sorry, not zip. Uh, elastic bands. And then we need a magic conductor too. Which 
is taking us towards our spider breeding auras as well to make the gravity aura. So I'll then need to upgrade that magic conductor that sat next to it. But we're going to need to put an electro rubber conductor in as well. I want to have a look. Now I've upgraded the uh, the workbench. Oh, we've got to double the area now. So if I need to, I can put things out here. It's starting to get a bit crazy with the amount of things that it needs. Um, I am going to take down this crafting press because I have a crafting press in the other room. So I feel like it'd probably be better just to not worry about having that in there. And we'll just have the charge bench with all of its various required upgrades in here. Thing is, I've got to have like a double up of everything in here. Uh, it's still fine, I think. I still don't think I want it in there. I've got enough in there, unless that can get upgraded as well. Um, so I want to build myself a electro rubber conductor. For that, I need one more steel nugget. And I need some fuzzballs and I need an advanced blueprint. Okay, we'll start with the steel nugget. So for the steel nugget, I'm going to need some more uh, flame blossom seeds. Luckily, I've got loads of sprouting orbs. The reason why I've got loads of sprouting orbs, portal fishing. So, tip for you. <laughs> do a bit of planting as well. I think I'm gonna I'm going to do two of them, I think. Because I always need flame blossom seeds. Always, always. So let's do honey fruit and swirly corns. And more honey fruit. Good stuff. Uh, let's take those ones. And then I'll make some more. And I'll take those ones. And, I'll, and then I'll run back to the workshop. Take those ones. Make some more. Okay, so we should have plenty to to fuel that for a little while. Um, I honestly feel like there's a lot of elastic grounds that might need charging right now. Just three, okay, that's fine. I'd rather be overzealous with that than, than not zealous enough. So I need a heat aura and then we can make a little bit of steel nuggets. Uh, that should be enough for what I need there. What am I making? I'm making the, the magical voltage one, aren't I? So I'm making the electro rubber. So I need fuzz balls from the loom. And an advanced blueprint. So let's go make fuzzballs on the loom. Make a few of those. I'm gonna leave that to do its thing and we can go make an advanced blueprint. Which ironically I can make when I can't make the plain ones because I've, I've clearly made loads of fancy ink at some point. Okay, so the steel is done. Fuzzballs are nearly done. Come here, fuzzballs. Wonderful. Which means we can, which means we can build the thing we need. Okay, so uh, electro rubber conductor. Perfect. Let's go and build it. And then let's go and change it around. Oh, I don't, yeah, I do have a spare space for changing things around, actually. It's fine. Got a space over here, so I'm going to move the general one over and put the electro conductor in for a minute. Make an electricity aura. And 
charge a zip can, finally. Good grief, that was an interesting uh, time. Right, okay, so I can now fix the elevator. So we've this that all of that last twi like 20 minutes was all about fixing this elevator. So let's go. That should restore the power. What about responsibility, huh? For some reason, I've always thought those two were connected. With great power comes great responsibility. Makes sense. So now we've got a whole new place. Is this Liana? Oh, it better be. Oh no, okay. What's wrong with the electricity? This is Vault. Ah, yes. It seems that the explosion burned out our electrical grid. Nothing works like it used to. Even the electro garden's on the fritz. Uh, can I help fix it? It would require someone with really good wires. Who's really good with wires, sorry. Oh, guess who I found who was really good with wires? Yes. Fixing the grid is like defusing a bomb. That person over in the knitting island. Is it the green one, the red one, the yellow one? Wait, is this someone's tail? <laughs> so yeah, maybe you'd have better luck untangling it all. I bet I can find someone to help. Wait, send them in. What grows in the electro garden? It's where we grow lightning flowers. Basically nature's own lightning rods. Galvin, the yordle who loves getting shocked, says they'd like to be one all the time. You know, she gets, sorry, to get even bigger shocks. You're not afraid for them at all? Nah, no, don't worry. They're uncrushable. Basically a rubber cockroach. Okay. <laughs> so I'm expecting to find Liana up here somewhere as well, possibly. Not sure. Ooh, iron needles up here. Nice. Always good. And there's a chest over there too. With goo flask and a ward. Ooh, that's a thing for my lectures. Wonderful. Love to see. Okay. So I need to talk to Wriggle. And repair Coggle. But I don't think I can repair Coggle yet. So unless I can get over there somehow from here... Galvin, I don't know why anyone would ever leave the Electro Garden. It's just so tantalizing. <laughs> it's like your friend that loves the super sour sweets. Okay, let's go see if the other elevator can be fixed now or whether... Oh, maybe when I fixed that one, the other one got fixed. I don't know. Let's see. There's a chance for that, isn't there? There's a chance that maybe both elevators got done at the same time. Don't know. Let's see. <clears throat> okay, that one's broken. And I can't do anything with it at the moment. Okay, that's fine. So that means that that is not doable right now. So I need to place the a magnet on the extremely safe blast zone. also talk to Riggle. So I figure maybe seeing if I can make the magnet might be the best thing while I'm here. And if I can't, then we'll go and talk to Riggle because it costs quite a few portal yarn to go back and forth from the knitting aisle. So I don't want to do it just willy-nilly. So let's see. I believe there was a magnet here. So a tin nugget and a gravity aura. Okay, so we need to have a sleep. And then I'll see if I've got enough. I think I might be slightly short, though. Um, very short, actually. So before we can do anything else, we need to get the Magic Conductor 2 for 20 points. I did just pick up a new item. So I could go and see if I can use that. If not, then possibly doing the food. Actually, yeah, we've got a food stand we need to do here. So I think that might be the way forward, actually. And the food stand that we need to do here is uh, curd cake, prism apple jelly, and colossal pudding. 
Let me just go and check that I've got enough apples and swirly corns and things. Which I think I do. Plenty of prism apples. Plenty of leaf plates. Plenty of colata, plenty of swirly corn. Oh, honey, yeah, honey fruit. We've got plenty of swirly corn as well, actually. That is fine. Might as well get rid of some of these things if I can. I think I need another chest in here. Wow. I don't even know if I have room for another chest, look. If I put one over there, actually, I would. But for now, I can just stay in my inventory, it's fine. I just need to make sure that my inventory isn't so full that it's kind of all the way to the bottom and there's probably uh, inventory upgrades I can still make. Yeah, the, I can still expand it as well. Okay, fantastic. Let's go and make our food stall. What is this? Eh. My phone is telling me I have apps I haven't used in a while. Wonderful. You think it yourself, who possibly who possibly could be like texting me or whatever? Maybe they need me. Maybe there's an emergency, and it's like you know, I'm. Uh, I'm just gonna put stuff into the storage for you. I'm in the middle of working. Okay, so let's put the motion aura on, and then we can start this party. Is that in the middle of making a? No, let's not start with that all clogged up. Because that will mess up my flow. Right, so first one is uh, swirl corns. Followed by apple. Followed by swirl corns again. Followed by apple again. I need someone to go for the other one. Followed by apple again. Aha! Now followed by Palata. The important thing right now is for me to. Serve one of everything to everybody, and then followed by some apple. Perfect! All done! Yay! <laughs> Having a better day for food stalls today. If it's not a chore for you, could you get me some apples and yordle moss? Apples and yordle moss? Correct. Combined in my forge, they make my favourite dish. Oh, I can cook that for you. No need, cooking is part of the fun for me. Okay. So we need to go back to Corky with a bit of apple and yodel moss. That shouldn't be too hard. I probably already have it, to be honest. Probably in a chest somewhere. If not, I'll have to go get the yodel moss. I know where it is, it's easy to get. Right, so. Um, that didn't get me many points. But it did get me part of a badge, which was good. I could throw a party if a party is needed as well. Oh, man. Why did I... Just put that away. <laughs> I'll roll up the vending machine as well, actually. Or I won't, I'll just pull up the backpack with the vending machine out because... Blur. So I can't repair Coggle, I 
can't talk to Wiggle without going to the Knitting Island. Uh, I can't make a magnet without more points. So we are basically stuck. So I either do a party or I go... It's, right, I think I'm going to pull up the backpack and I'm going to go back to Bandel Central and see if the most recent uh, artifact I found... In fact, is there any portal fishing around here as well? Can I see that on the map? It would be useful if I could. Like portal fishing locations. Yes, I can see. So, just up from Ingvar's Forge, there's a portal fishing location. Um, I would like to go there and just do a quick portal fish. Over here, I think. Somewhere. Probably right at the end, because that tends to be where the portal fishing happens. There's a chest there. I'm not seeing portal fishing. So maybe... Oh, I see. I see. I see. Kenan's shuriken. Got it. Nice job. I'm glad they're making it easy that the first thing you catch is the, the artifact. I enjoy that. So I'm hoping that one of these might be doable. I've got three or four artifacts now that just can't be used yet. Let's have a look. So I now have... Monkey. A zip can and a charge hex tech orb, of course. The infinity orb with levitation potion and charged crystal. That's even going to be a bit difficult. I've got the bandle pin as well with a button and yarnville wish essence. So not really. I could do with getting the fiddlestick pumpkin. Do you know what? Why don't we go to the various um, merchants in the Squire's Bloom? And then there's Fortune's Pistol that can be found fishing. And it tells you where as well. So, yeah, why don't we go over to Green Thingy and go portal fishing where we can and go and check with their merchants because there's definitely a lot that we're missing right now. The points that I should have that I don't have because I haven't picked these things up. So let's just talk to everybody, see who has a shop, see who has a... Right, so that's the pumpkin. It'll probably be Eek and Ike. We'll have one each and then there'll be a fishing spot as well. But we'll check with uh, Doofer. Uh, what's his name? What is his name? Bomb or something? Oh yeah, the Squire's Bloom is here. Lovely. So that's the two things that I can buy here anyway. Then I'll grab a tiny bit of Yordle Moss just in case. Because, you know, it would be silly to come here and not pick it up. And then let's have a look and see if I can find the fishing location. So, the fishing location on this island is actually in the wild caves. And the wild caves is the one place I can't go to. So, that means that I've basically done all I can. And I'll have to come back later for that one. It's nice that it tells you where things are. I'm like, I, d I don't mind when. <laughs> When it's when a map can tell me where it is, that's quite nice, actually. For a game, usually they expect you to just randomly go around locations looking for half your life. So I am approval of this. 
so I can with a beet and some fertilizer, which I should be able to make. And a banana and an apple. That should be easy. Beet, fertilizer, banana, apple, and then I can have two of them done. See about fertilizer. Yeah, growth aura. Okay, so I just need to move this this dude over here. Put a growth aura on. I can make my fertilizer. And then I need to duck into the chest here and get an apple or just get them off the trees an apple a banana and some beets right that should be two lectures done and that should be enough for me to pick up well or very close to it pick up what i need so farming gardening so we just need the engineering one which we can't do until we can get into the fishing spots over in the the garden is there anything else that I can do for example I can make a strummer and a groove spinner fishing in this area fishing in Yarnville fishing in Maybe there's two fishing uh, places there. I don't know. The comfort, the lollipop suite. Hmm. Or there's two artifacts that can come out of that area. Fishing in Gadgeton. Fishing in Yarnville. Fishing in Inspiration Isle. And fishing in Yarnville. Sorry, chests in Yarnville. Quite a few things fishing in Yarnville can get me. Hmm. If I could make a kite, I could do the gunner's lecture with the ward. Hmm. I might be able to make a kite. Let's see. Did I take that second? It was under the um, uh, speedy goods merchant for a kite. So I'd have to spend a load of points to get the points. And I don't think it's quite a free, sh a free swap either. So I think let's see if I can go to bed and get a point. Yes, okay, we're on 20. Did I need to be on 20? I'm not even sure how much I needed to be on for what I needed next. Uh, I'm not even, I can't even remember what I needed. Oh yeah, 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 I do. Magic Conductor 2. Right. So we're just, just about there right now. I might need to run another party somewhere soon. Um, we need this to make the gravity aura and to make the magnet. So for that, we need to upgrade this little guy. Or maybe not upgrade that little guy. Maybe we have to make a whole new one. Okay, so let's remove you. And build you. Thankfully, I had all the stuff for it. That's rare. <gasps> what? You've got to have separate ones? Oh, my life. Okay. I feel like I might need to move a chest at this point. Or just move all of this into here. Into the pocket. Because I'm at a point now where I have more conductors and things and I actually have workstations out here. 
Yeah, you know what? This is exactly what's going to happen. I'm going to remove all of it and I'm going to get that charge workbench back into the pocket dimension. We have room for it. It's just it's getting a bit cramped in here. Make a charge workbench. Two. You know, the things to move into the other room would be things that don't need any kind of um, charging up. So, like the crusher, that needs a motion aura, okay. The loom too doesn't need anything. Everything else does. <laughs> Woohoo! So I kind of feel like what we need is just to have. Uh, I don't even care anymore. Uh, I care that I can make a magnet though, so that's what we need. Uh, so what I need to do. Let's move a couple of things around, as usual. A little bit of Tetris going on here. So now I should be able to make a magnet. Wonderful. Please tell me you just take elastic bands, right? Oh, you need an entire charge zip can. Wow. Okay. First thing then, can I make a zip can? I can if I put a motion aura on that. things around you know what I need to do I think this is never going to need anything except for those two auras right and it's taking up three spaces so let's cancel out this and let's move that whole little setup over to the And also the, the forges, for example, are never going to need anything except for heat aura. So the forges could move. However, this one needs motion aura and heat aura. So I actually do think that moving that setup would probably be the best one. Just have the spindle set up elsewhere. So I'm going to remove all of that and move it into the other room. We just don't have enough space in here. And it's like, what do I move that won't need to then be constantly moved back and forth again, you know? That setup seems like a good one. So, uh, it was a spindle two, spooling bench two. Surrounded by a motion conductor. And a magic conductor for the unity aura. Okay. So I think that's its own little setup just on its own, so it doesn't really need to be moved about too much. Um, so I'm going to leave that just for now. I don't know how many charged magic bands I have right now. I've got six. Okay, that's not too bad. So then I can always keep this here, which is quite nice. I can always keep the loom next to it because that doesn't ever need anything in, in that regard. So then I can have each of the tables that I've got in its own little place and then I can move the various um, things around. So what I'm gonna have then is moving the 
table back there. So each of these tables has a spot that can be used to move a particular uh, motion thing around. So if the tables ever need more than one, then I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll have to move things back into there, I guess, because I just don't have the space in here. But at the moment, I've got room for each table to have one thing. Uh, I could move the loom over by here. Those two never really need an aura next to them, whereas that might sometimes need an aura next to it. So yeah, actually, that's a really good setup. I like it. That'll work. That'll be that'll be functional without like too much crazy moving about. Everything has a space next to it that needs it. I mean, that one will only ever need it for like the freebie stuff, the uh, upcycling auras. Okay, so that will work. That's okay. We're all right. We're good. Um, I am actually just going to make flame blossom seeds, and I am actually just going to remove that one because they're not that hard to make. <laughs> and then every so often, every once in, in a blue moon, if I need sprouting or bouncy balls or casting molds, uh, then I will need to just move this out the way and pop a different aura in for that. Um, sad times. It'd be good if I could have a, a, a four space and have something there, 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 and there. Maybe I should have moved that set up through there and had that, but... It's not something I'm going to need often enough to worry about too much. It can be just swapped. Okay, so now we need to make a charged zip can, don't we? Yes. So for that, I need to put a motion aura. Do we have a motion one at the moment? We don't. So I will make one. So I just now have one of each aura device, which I think is perfect as well. We just move them around as needed. So I'm going to need now to make a zip can. All right, I've got all the stuff I need. So if I just pop the motion aura on, I should be able to make a couple of them. I may as well make a couple of them if they're gonna be needed for... Right, that's as much as I can do. And then I need to have my charge bench with is that also a motion aura please don't tell please tell me it's not oh no i need an electricity aura so i need the electricity one don't i as well electro rubber conductor so that can just go over there for now we've got these spaces in between if i need to sort of jiggle things as well so that needs to go next to the charge bench I'll move that down there. I'll move that over there. Okay, so we should be able to make two charged zip cans now. And then I need to wait for that to run out so I can move it. This is the problem with moving things. So while I wait for that to run out, I'll have a little sleep and we'll just pop in the... We'll pop in the points. Take the rubber bands out of everything. And then let's make a magnet. Oh, I don't actually have a tin nugget right now. Do I have the stuff to make a tin nugget? I do. Okay. Always check you've got the stuff before you start the auras going, or it's a bit of a waste. I'll need some more copper sheets soon, but they should be just outside. Oh, no, they're not. We're not in Gadgeton anymore. We're not in Kansas anymore. One tin nugget and a gravity aura. So we need to change these back around. 
And I always move out of that space because that blocks me using this sometimes. Tin nugget, variety aura. Tin nuggets are done. Gravity aura. Make a magnet. Oh, well, I just had tin. Well, I just took a tin nugget out of there. What? What? Or am I making steel or something by accident? Oh, yeah. Absolutely am. Cancel. <laughs> we need tin. Luckily, that's not going down too fast. Come on. All right, let's have a look. So, oh, I need another. No, the aura's still on. Okay, so, um, tin nuggets. There we are. I could have sworn I'd made tin nuggets, though. But I only need one, so hopefully that'll be enough to place the magnet on the extremely safe blast zone. At least get one of the things done today that I wanted to do. Well, actually, no, I've got some some of the things done. Craft a magnet. There we are. Perfect. Now, where's the extremely safe blast zone? That is over the, the bridge there from the gadget and labs. Right, okay. Let's see if we can get to there at all or not. Um, so... We can't repair Coggle right now. I've not been able to find Liana yet. Um, bring a prism apple and Yordle moss to Ingvar. Ingvar will probably be here, won't he? So, no, actually, no, it's Ingvar. Of course it is. So that Ingvar is in Gadgeton as well. So, yes, to Gadgeton we go then, isn't it? Yes, that's where we need to be. I'll harvest all this in a minute. So we're going to need to find Liana, take the prism apples and things over to Ingvar and place the magnet on the extremely safe blast site, which sounds like it's been named with a lot of hope rather than a lot of accuracy. It's been named for what the Yordles want it to be, not for what it actually is. So. Ingvar should be just down the road. So that would be the easiest thing to do first. Here is your side quest stuff, Ingvar. Much obliged. Sorry, much obliged. Can't wait to get cooking. I got some portal yarn and stuff from that. Lovely. We also got 10 skill points. And 80 badge points. Ah, so now we've finished the cooking one. Nice. It said we got. Oh, is it ten? Oh, it's ten stars. Sorry, not ten skill points. Ten stars. So we got money for it, basically. Um, right. So what does that mean now? So if I've opened the cooking one, so I can now do sap cooking on en under engineering. And it's now unlocked. Um, soap swirly corns, leafy salad, uh, fluffy cloud cake, fruit pie, yolk shroom patties. All of those have been unlocked now. Perfect. Very nice. We're making some and darn good progress here. Definitely. Right. Let's uh, head up the elevator and see if we can put this magnet on the extremely safe blast zone. Do we need to repair a bridge, maybe? Because I didn't see, like, a bridge. Uh, maybe I just didn't go across the bridge. It's the sort of thing I would do. Not go across the proper bridge. Aha! The extremely safe blast zone! Yay! We apparently didn't need to be here yet, anyway. I need explosive charge to pick these up. Oh, interesting. Okay. 
it looks like there's a portal to this area and it looks like that might be Liana. Liana, what's the situation? Hello, gunner leader. Just call me Sheila, please. What happened here? Gunner Liana, reporting for duty. This is the most suspicious place I've discovered. I say we question the locals one by one, starting with our resident explosives expert, Scorch. Can I ask you a personal question? Do you like being gunner leader? Being gunner leader isn't easy. I've only ever bossed around the dust bunnies at Gramps' house. But your management style feels so strict yet thoughtful. You're a natural born gunner leader. Um, thanks. That's good to hear. Do you think this explosives expert might be in cahoots with Vigar? That's certainly a possibility. One thing I'm certain of is that craters don't just appear in the grounds. Gunner leader, I'm investigating this crater as you ordered. You don't need to call me that. What have you found? Oh, there's plenty of clues. But I need a bigger magnifying glass and an accusing parlour. Do you have access to one? For accusing the culprit, you see. An accusing parlour. Okay. Um, no, I'll keep an eye out. <laughs> Right, put your fingers in your ears. Hey, you're saved. Yeah, saved from my vacation. Now I've got to get back to Gadget and Labs. To chase Galvin away from the wires. Aren't you glad to work again? Of course I am, but I'm already nostalgic for my time here. Watching the clouds, enjoying the silence. Isn't that life? Alright then, so I kind of... Pulls... I just pulled the person over. Okay, that's fine. Well, we've done that, so I need to repair Coggle and talk to Riggle. And I'm pretty sure I still can't repair Coggle yet. Um, I will check that elevator just to make sure it hasn't suddenly changed. As things do in this game. Can't do anything with this now. Let me just check. Yeah, so I think I need to do all the wire stuff first. It looks like there's a big wire there. And there's like like a massive plug there that maybe maybe something needs to be done with that. So I feel like we need to go back to uh, Yarnville now. I've done those couple of little things. We'll go over to Yarnville. I'll do my food stands over there if I can. Whatever I can do, I will. Should I take a sleep first now? I've only got three points there, so we'll remove the backpack and go over to Yarnville. So, as you know, we have to go over to Bandleton Central, Bandle Centre. And then we have to run all the way up to the top. like I'm not so this is the only time I ever feel like I need the oil for my leg is when I'm running up to and it's not even that much of a run actually is it when I'm just running up here because I've got so many teleporters now but I need to look at how much portal yarn I have 110 so it's going up I'm earning more in general than I'm using so that's good that's good to know so one thing I want to know over here is what the fishing spots are. So there's one in the soggy grotto. There's one on the cliffside path. And that's it. Okay, cool. Let's put the backpack down and then we'll uh, start our adventures over here for uh, 10 minutes. I've got food stands to do, I've got portal fishing to do, I've got to actually speak to people. <laughs> so where is the portal fishing in here then? Ah, right, let's go, golden spatula, here we come. This is very Stardew Valley fishing. So that is the golden spatula achieved, I think. Yep. Nice. Mm. 
And then we need to go across to the path and fish down there. Cliff side path. And see what I can get. Oh, interesting. So there is a gravity aura over here, but... Oh, there's a kite and a yo-yo in the chest. <laughs> Handy. I need a captain's hook and then I can get the gluttonous greaves out. Okay. Good to know. Can we make a captain's hook yet? Let's have a look and see. Assembly table. Captain's hook. Landlubber's hook is all we can make at the moment. So if I want to do things, I need to spend points. Let's have a look. I like portal fishing skills, I know. Probably magic. Here we are. Portal fishing master. Captain's hook. So we need to spend 22 points on it and then we can have it straight away. Okay. If we need a first mate's hook for anything, we'll need to spend 15 points on that as well. But that's worth it because the things we fish up give us skills back directly. So. We'll end up with a net profit in that, I think. So, yeah, okay. We need to speak to Riggle. Now, Riggle was all the way up here, I think. Oh, wrong way. Riggle was this way. Why do I never have oil? It's annoying me that I never have oil in my backpack. Why? Because it's the one thing I really do actually need. So those are vendor goods, so they need to go in there. Along with the golden spatula. So I'm trying to keep kind of my vendor goods and my artifacts all together in that chest there. I've got a tomato berry. Should I put that on? I feel like I should. Look how cute I look in that. Oh my goodness. Right, so let's go and talk to Riggle. In my tomato berry. I think I might be I'm gonna be taking my hat off or going to the gunner's hat again soon, I think, because it's the one I like the best. It's the cutest looking one. All the other ones just hide my hair and look horrible. No, it's not there, it's across this way, isn't it? Hey Riggle, I've got a job for you. The Yordles and Gadgetin need someone who's good with wires. The electrical grid's all burnt out. Can you help? They asked for me, specifically? Well, nobody else has this kind of experience. I just can't believe it. It's like the job was specifically tailored for me. Oh, this is good. It's rare I have to run a long way, so sometimes it's just nice to have that little extra speed boost. Okay, so we had uh, a few other things that we needed to do here. So I need to talk to Rusty. Where is Rusty? Hmm, I need to know where Rusty is. Rusty's in Gadgeton. Okay. In Gadgeton. So that's fine. I need to go to Gadgeton and 
talk to Rusty, who's in Gadgeton, and talk to Scorch, who's also, I think, in Gadgeton. So everything's pointing back to Gadgeton again now, so... I don't want to go there yet, though, because I need to do a food stand. So we need to move my backpack up to the top of the hill and see what kind of food stands we need to do over here. I've done as much portal fishing as I can without the master hook. I don't have the points for it at the moment, so we will have to come back. To get to the boot. The boot needs the master hook, so... Okay. Opening food stand. Let's go and have a look at the table of what things we need to do. So, we actually only have the one with the mushroom soup and the stuffed flatbread to do, which we can't do. So, that's fine. It's probably because I did the... I think what happens is when you have two places you can do a thing... It only needs you necessarily to do them in one of those places. So sometimes you don't have to do them in both places. You just have to do one of each kind of food, I think. One of each kind of order. So that's fine. We'll teleport back. And I'll come... Next time I come down here, we'll have a look for that other artifact. But we did manage to get one artifact. Which was the golden spatula. So let me go and see what goes with a golden spatula. Um, oh, I've got my kite as well. So we can definitely do the gunner's lecture. And we can do... Where's the golden spatula one? Oh yeah, cooking that. Red spice and ground salt. Yeah, so that's 25 points worth of stuff. Nice. Spice, salt, and a kite. Spice and salt. No, I need ground salt. Do I have any ground salt? Let me just take all of them, just in case. Um, a yo-yo, a kite, we'll take those with me. We'll see if we're close on anything. Uh, I need spice. Do I have spice and do I have ground salt? I have spice. It doesn't look like I've got any ground salt, which is annoying. So I think I'm going to need to grind some. never needed rock salt for anything except for brown ground salt and I can always get some more if I do for some reason need it so we'll dream and save I'll go and grab my salt Which gave us a couple of points as well nice and that should be enough to do a couple of these lectures lecture for 10 points gunner's lecture um goo flask we still need the sizzle powder we're close to sizzle powder though i'll need the first mate's hook to get the oh man that's a nightmare Crystal good and an Ixtali backpack. See, see, I need quite a few things that are from Inspiration Isle because we haven't really been fishing in Inspiration Isle. There's also a Void Amethyst in one of the chests. Probably, I would say... Um, if it's in a chest, it's in somewhere where I've not been able to access yet. So it's probably going to be in the very last area. 
which makes sense if there's something that's going to be like 20 points. I don't know how to get Yarnville Wish Essence either. I need a harpoon and a checkered quilt and a pool party ball. So yeah, we're, we're doing well. There are things that I just can't do right now. So I, I can't get into the cage for Fortune's Pistol. Once I do, that'll be easy to, to get the things to go along with it. Most of the things I can do. Keeping the yo-yo to go with the economics lecture. Once I find the scuttle crab toy, which is found uh, fishing in Inspiration Isle, I'm going to get some more points for that as well. So, yeah, we're, we're getting there, but, you know, I just need to go over to Inspiration Isle and do a load of fishing over there. Or do some, do some other stuff. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do right now. I don't know what I want to take as a... a uh, and when I don't know what I want to take, that's the time to keep the points. So we've got 36 points from that little, from that little aside we did there, which is nice. But I feel like we need to go back to gadgeting now. So looking at the badges that we've got outstanding, it's all mushroom soup and stuffed flatbreads. Now, mushroom soup and stuffed flatbreads, I don't think we can make at the moment. So maybe that's something to spend my mon my points on. Would be food. So where is... Stuffed flatbread is beyond the next cooking point, though. Wow. So for that one, I'd need to do bandle center, and I'd need to do bark yogurt and mushroom... and yolk shroom tatar, so... Wow, you need two things in a whole new, in a whole new thing. What is that? That has a whole new type of food processor that I don't have right now. The mixer. Oh. So I would need to get the mixer and the desserts and the yolk shroom patty to even start on what I need next and then I need to get past there to the stuffed flatbread so I would say we need to wait a little while for that one <laughs> so definitely the next thing I want to do is go back to Gadgeton just seeing how like how realistic it is to do the things I want to do and if it's not then it's like well that's clearly where we're where we're not meant to be um do I want to go to the extremely safe blast zone or do I want to go to Rumble's Workshop? Rumble's Workshop we'll go to, I think. Okay, so Riggle is around here somewhere. Also, we need to repair Coggle. Also, we need to talk to Rusty. So where is Rusty and Scorch and everyone? I don't know where they all are. That elevator is also broken, is it? Interesting. But it doesn't say that I can repair it with a zip can either, does it? It looks like I need to already be up there. Before I can fix the elevator down. Interesting. Okay. Stick my backpack down for a bit. Why not? Let's have a look at the map and see where everybody is then. So we need to we need to know where Rusty is. So Rusty is down here. We need to know where Scorch is. Scorch is in the blast zone. And we need to know where Riggle is. And Riggle is up at Gadgeton Gadgeton Labs. Okay. So we'll want to find That's B. Let's read that. Mm, so I was working on a boat. Some so and so brought in. 
It was just here for scheduled maintenance, but I thought, well, I might as well add wings to it. Now it can swim and fly. I hope they like it. Oh, they're all the way down there. They're down the bottom of the elevator. There you are. All right. So first person I need to talk to is Rusty. What do you know about mechanical bugs? Everything. We're the ones who built them. Wait, so what are they for? Um, that part, we don't know. You see, we used Heimerdinger as schematics. They didn't really specify the purpose of the bugs. I found a purpose for the bugs. The cooks from Inspiration Isle want to start a delivery service. That's great. Our insects can help with that. Tell me about Heimerdinger. I don't know him personally, but he's a legend. He had so many great ideas that we still haven't used all of. He left Bandle City a long time ago, but his lab must be an incredible place for any engineer. Did he research portals? I don't know, but he's done all sorts of amazing things. What do I need to build the bugs? I can give you the schematics we used to build ours. Anyone who can tell the difference between a beam compass and a sextant can build one in no time. Wait, I definitely know what both of those are. And don't forget to put us on the list of deliveries when you're done. Will do. I bring mech fanner wings to Brunoir. So we'll be going over to Inspiration Island in a bit, but first we will finish our bits and bobs in Gadgeton. So we need to speak to Riggle and Scorch. Riggle first, probably. So Riggle is in the labs, so should be up this way somewhere. Let's see if we can run around and find someone with an arrow, uh, a question mark over their head. So, how long will the repairs take? It won't be a quick job. It's also going to take a kind of wire I don't have right now. Take your time. I'll provide whatever you need. Five conductive wires. Okay, we'll go and make those in a second. But first I will go and speak to Scorch. Any fishing areas around here? Or... I think we had all the fishing areas in this particular place, so didn't we? We just need the ones in uh, Inspiration Isle. So Scorch is apparently down here somewhere. Hello! Are you Scorch? I sure am. So is that giant crater you're doing? Well, see, I was testing this new formula that was supposed to put Zig's bombs to shame, but like, there was a slip up or something. Uh, so you mentioned a slip up. Who makes your explosives? That's Palmer. She probably gave me botched materials because my calculations were perfect. Thanks, I'll talk to her. So what is your job? I like look for poor masterpieces trapped inside the stone and dirt. And then I free them with the magic of kinetic energy. So you're a sculptor. You make blowing things up sound so serene. Yeah, well, that's how I see it. I was going to say pretentious. The explosions are true high art and that's not up for debate. Was it Vigar's idea to blow this up? What? No? I was going to break off this really hideous part of the island. You were going to what? It was totally messing with the whole vibe, and I think the result exceeded any expectations, so... You're welcome. Is this a fishing spot? Well, it looks kind of like it could be one. There's certainly a visual spot there. Nice. It does look like that's a portal fishing area, but it looks like possibly... Oh yes, it's one I've had already. I was on that side of there. Okay. Yeah, I have fished that one already. Lovely. So we need to bring some conductive wire to wriggle. Do a mech fan a wing. And talk to Palmer. So where is Palmer? Palmer is down by Ingvar's forge. Okay, well, let's go and do that. And on the way, we can make the conductive uh, wiring. And then probably... Oh, right. <laughs> nice. I had a charged zip can on me because I made spares. So that was actually like the most convenient thing ever. Beautiful. Let's go and talk to Palmer then. I might mean I need to make another one at some point, though. Did you make explosives for Scorch? 
Yeah, but I had nothing to do with it. Nothing to do with what? Uh, the crater. I haven't seen it. Do you know Vrygar by any chance? Nope, never heard of him. Psst. Okay, thank you for your time. I suspect something's off here. <laughs> I bet checking out Gadget and Labs can help you find some answers. There's a twitchy looking yordle named Galvin who's always there. Maybe they've seen Vrygar skulking around. You should question them. Thanks for the tip, Liana. Um, I mean, uh, great work, Junior Gunner. You're welcome, Gunner Leader, ma'am. Okay. So where is Galvin? Galvin is up at the labs, surprisingly. Which is exactly where Liana said he would be. Now we can use this elevator, which is way easier. Fabulous. I can also portal down if I need to, which would be so lazy, but huh, I might do. <laughs> right, Galvin. Galvin, 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 Galvin. We didn't stop by and make the <laughs> conductive wiring, did we? Oh, well. Where are you? Up that way, okay. Ah, there we are, Galvin. Okay. Did you see Vygar coming through here? Nah. I just like walking around here. Nice view of the electric garden. Also, if you're very lucky, you can get hit by lightning. But ever since I tried Vygar shampoo, I have a whole new reason to live. Uh, what kind of shampoo? Dunno, you can ask Palmer. She gave it to Vygar and he decided to share with me. But since Vygar left, I ran out of shampoo. And I need more. More! You like being hit by lightning? Yes! Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> no storms in a while, though. Disappointing. Not that I miss him or anything. I can totally stop getting shocked anytime. That sounds uh, healthy. Uh, where can I get this shampoo? Palmer gave a whole jar to Vygar. I wish she gave it to me instead. Where is Vygar now? He left the island. Hope he comes back with more shampoo. <laughs> okay. Also found this. Explosives. Take them. I think they belong to Palmer. Interesting. I should talk to Palmer again. Alright, so on the way down to, to speak to Palmer again, I will be stopping in my tent. In my backpack. So go and make the conductive wires that I need. So it should go this way. I'm trying not to like use tons of oil when I've only got a little bit of a, a way to go. I don't know if that's silly and I'm conserving them when I shouldn't. I will eventually make a different leg, I think. I could try and make the spring leg, maybe. Okay, so... um. I need to bring the explosive charge to Palmer, but I've been given that, so I don't need the skill of explosive charge. But it does look like that might be something I'll need soon. So maybe I should take it. Yeah. I need the sizzle powder anyway. Right. So I need to go and make conductive wire. For that, I will need copper sheets. Okay, so we need to get some copper sheets. Which, thankfully, are right over here. Don't know how much durability I've got on my tool. Snap jaw multi tool broke. Okay, I'll have to make another one of those. I don't think they're that hard to make, though. And uh, now I should be able to make some conductive wire with. Yeah, I have enough. I have enough to make five. So I'll pop on a motion aura. And then we'll pop on one, two, three, four, five conductive wire. And while that's doing its thing, we'll go and talk to Palmer again. Oh, wait, coming up to the hour and a half mark, which is where I like to finish my episodes. I like to make nice long episodes so we can get through this fast. Um, Galvin said these explosives were yours. All right, all right, you got me. I didn't create that giant crater on purpose. Those stupid flasks are too easy to mix up. 
asked, uh, so what's the shampoo for? Vigar said he wanted to create the ultimate fur cleanser. The ultimate fur cleanser is static electricity? That's what Vigar said. He was very persuasive. I mean, he was also laughing a little bit, but not all in an ominous way. Do you know where he is? Uh, no, he just took some of the shampoo and left. But if you see him, tell him I've got a great packaging idea. Like a bottle with rain clouds and lightning on the front? Sure, I'll tell him. Just gotta find him first. <laughs> Talk to Tristana. Where is Tristana then? Not on this island. Still in the gunner camp? Maybe? No. Yes. Yes, still in the gunner camp. Okay, so we'll need to go back to the gunner camp to talk to Tristana. Uh, we will need to make mech fan wings and take them to Brunoir on Inspiration Island. And we need to bring the conductive wire to Wriggle. Okay, so we'll take the conductive wire to Wriggle and then we're probably getting out of here at that point. Or maybe not, depending on what happens after we give him the conductive wire. So I'm going to take a sleep to dream and save. Conductive wire is done. I'm gonna use some oil to make me faster, just so I can get through this faster. Right then. There you are. How did you figure out the wires so fast? I kind of got overexcited. This is the first time my wire obsession has actually come in handy. I think I need to go lay down for a while. But thanks for making me feel useful. I'm throwing a knitter party. You want to come? You're kidding, right? Of course I do. You're really good with wires. People don't give wires enough credit, I think. You can basically do anything with them. Anything? Like, even make a cupcake? Well, you can try, but that's going to be a very weird cupcake. Ugh, I'm going to pretend I never heard that. Boss wires is done. Nice. So there's some stuff going on over here. I can repair the socket. Oh, that was handy. That's probably going to mean that the elevator up to the top might be dirt, might be like fixed now. Let's go and have a look. That was what I was thinking might be the, the way forward. I won't have time to do anything up there, but it'd be nice to know if it's fixed. And we can get up to that final bit. Let's see. Oh yeah! The Electro Garden. That is our final, final place. Wonderful! Oh, this is so good. I'm hoping there's a chest up here as well. All the plants look dead. That's sad. Wait, no, snarky commentary? The plants ask for so little, just a couple of minutes of your time every day. And they get denied even that. They perish. Believe me, I know what it's like to be forgotten. I'm really sorry, Righty. Yeah, hey, that's no plant. Looks like an automaton. I wonder if it can dance. I doubt that. It's just resting here. We need to turn him back on. Let's find some zip cans to power him. So this is Coggle, I'm over here. So Coggle will need a Firefly Lantern, which I do have some of, and a charged zip can to fix. And then we're also going to need some Plant Lightning Flowers, which we can make with Firefly Lanterns as well. So it's all about the Firefly Lanterns up here. So that will be what we will do next time then. We will fix the Electro Garden. Oh, oh there's a fish here. Let's just see if we can fish. <gasps> I need a captain's hook for this as well. Okay, so now I've got two things I need a captain's hook for. That to me makes it kind of worth taking the skill because I will get back the points and some. So I feel like that's a, 
that's very worth taking at that point and there's probably going to be something on some of the other islands that will require higher level hooks as well so i definitely think that that's something we're going to try and grab um i think i can make all the stuff to to repair everything that i need so i need zip cans and lots of firefly lanterns but i'll probably have to remind myself of that next time so that's going to be it i hope you enjoyed if you did then please do leave me a like below if you'd like to see more please subscribe i'll let you know when the videos are out hope to see you next time in the meantime please look after yourselves and keep being awesome